Hey guys, today we're going to look at the difference between proportional and non-proportional relationships. And we're going to answer the question, how do I determine if a relationship is proportional or non-proportional? So proportional relationships are special because not only does the slope formula work, but they also have this constant ratio, which means whenever you do y divided by x, it is constant throughout the whole relationship. And that's why they use the letter k. You can think of it, it has the same um, sound as constant. And it can rep be represented by y equals kx. So k is just a special type of slope. This is a special slope where the slope formula also works, but y over x also works to find the slope. And that only happens in proportional relationships. So let's talk about how to determine if a relationship is proportional or not from these four different representations. Let's start with equations. So a proportional relationship can be written in the form of y equals kx. So these would all be examples of proportional relationships because those all have a y and an x and just a constant in front of the x. If you notice, there is no b value. We don't have a y-intercept, which that'll, remember that, we'll see that in the graph as well. Okay, then non-proportional can not be written in the form y equals kx. We might have that b value, it might be y equals mx plus b. Um, it might be like this where we just don't have an x or you might see an exponent on the x. So proportional, remember, it's going to be written in the form y equals kx. Okay, word problems. Remember in our proportional equations we had no b, no beginning point. It's kind of the same thing with our word problems. We're gonna have no b. We only have a rate or a slope, that constant k. So this one says Aaron charges $12 per hour for babysitting. There's no beginning fee, they just give us the slope or the constant ratio of $12 per hour. Okay, non-proportional, we are going to have a rate and a y-intercept. We have a b value. So this one here, it says Angela charges a $50 deposit plus $30 per hour for her accounting services. So we do have a B value, that initial charge of 50, so that's why this one is non-proportional. Okay, let's look at graphs. So a proportional graph has to be two things. It has to be a line and it has to go through the origin. Remember, there is no b or b equals zero. So this would be a proportional graph because it's a line and it is going through the origin right there. Okay, non-proportional does not go through the origin like this one. Or if it's not a line, then it's not proportional either. Okay, then tables, we are looking at the constant ratio. Remember we talked about how proportional relationships have the special type of slope of y over x. So I want to see if the y over x is the same thing throughout the whole table. So y divided x here would be three, negative three divided by negative one, which equals three. I'm gonna skip over zero, zero because I know that a proportional relationship goes through the origin, but I'm not gonna be able to do y over x with zero over zero. So let's go to the next one. Three divided by one is also three. And then this one, six divided by two is also three. So we have that constant ratio here of three, which means this is proportional. Okay, let's look at the next table. If it is non-proportional, then it does not have the constant ratio of y over x. So y divided by x here would be four divided by two, which is two. And then the next one, six divided by four, simplifies to three over two, which is not two. Those do not have a constant or same ratio throughout, so that's why this one is non-proportional. 
All right, now we're just gonna do a few examples where we determine if they are proportional or not. So this first one right here is an equation. Remember, equations have to be written in the form y equals kx, which it looks like this one is. So this one would be proportional because it is written in the form of y equals kx. All right, number two, I have a graph and it's going through the origin, but this is not a line. So this one would be non-proportional because it is not a line. It has to be a line and go through the origin for it to be proportional. All right, number three, I have a table and y over x needs to equal y over x if it is proportional. It has to have that constant ratio. So one divided by three would be this first one divided by x, that won't simplify any further. Then I have two divided by six, which that simplifies to, two divided by six simplifies to one over three. The next one is three over nine. Those are both divisible by three three, so it also equals one over three. And then the last one is four divided by 12, and four over 12, I can take a four out of both of those and get one over three. So this one is proportional. Because it has a constant y over x ratio. All right, number four. Bob delivers flowers for a $10 fee and $3 per flower. So remember in word problems, we just want that slope, that special K and no B. But this one has a B. We have a $10 fee, that would be the Y intercept. And then we do have a slope, but since we have a Y intercept here, this one would be non-proportional. And we can say because there is a B value. All right, number five, Y equals eight plus X. So it almost looks like it's in the form of y equals kx, but remember when we have two things next to each other like that, it means multiplication, not addition, like we have going on here. So this one is non-proportional because it is not in the form of y equals kx. All right, and the last one, we have a line and it is going through zero, zero. So this one is proportional. And we would say line that goes through zero, zero.